Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Gemini's, you are up, so this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus, as well as Mercury, Gemini, North Node, Cusp Babies, Cross Watchers, that's dealing with somebody that has Gemini in their chart, of course, there's going to be messages in this video for you too, or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Gemini in your chart, you're not dealing with anybody that has Gemini in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you as well. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you're born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign. And I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury when you're dealing with love readings. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have been here for a while, thank you for supporting me. If you're new to my channel, um, I do give messages to the collective before I do give my readings. So if you're pressed on time, you can always go down to the comment section of the video to go directly to the beginning of the reading if you're pressed on time and you don't want to hear me talk. Moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I talk too much, you will be blocked and not be able to come back on my channel. Uh, one of the gifts that I do have is clear audience so I do have music in the background if you catch wind of a song if it's a certain song that comes on that's significant into the reading I will make sure that I display it during the reading um, if it is um, tying together as a synchronicity uh, but the music is at a certain vibra vi vibration well yeah a certain vibration a certain volume for a reason um, because uh, so my videos don't get flagged as far as copyright um, because of the music being too loud um, so, uh, cuss babies, I include you in my readings because your sun sign represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if you are a cuss baby, that means that you have, um, both, you have two energies as far as your sun signs that you're trying to harness before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you're a cuss baby. <clears throat> if I don't state your date of birth, that means that you are a, um, a regular Gemini and the song that's right on now is ready or not and I heard this song on Facebook uh, and I was talking to my daughter and I was scrolling through and then she had said some my something about my life partner and the song just comes on and now it's coming on and I'm like okay <laughs> but you know, that's how stuff works as far as when it comes to your blueprint so I'm trying to help you understand how to use your clear audience uh, gifts to allow your higher self, your ancestors, your twin flame, your twin ray, your divine partner, your life partner, whoever it is that you're on this journey with and you're dealing with, give you certain messages that you would only understand um, to help you through and guide you and give you clarity in a certain situation. And see, that was just me using an example on how it, I telecommunicated with my life partner in 5D realm through music and then also through my child because of her having a lot of Aries in her chart and he has a lot of Aries in her chart so he can harness energy off of her and use her um, to give me messages. So um, it, it's just crazy. Uh, the song that's on now is uh, I'm Still in Love by New Edition, okay? Um, so let's keep going. 
uh, cusp babies. If I state your date of birth, this means that you're a cusp baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you're just a regular Gemini. So May the 17th through May the 23rd, Taurus slash Gemini. May the 17th through May the 23rd, Taurus slash Gemini. Um, June the 17th through June the 23rd, Gemini slash Cancer. June the 17th through June the 23rd, Gemini slash Cancer. I'm including North Node in my readings because your North Node represents your past life karma and this karma in this lifetime. And since we're waking up into who we, our true souls and spirits are, the great awakening is happening. You have to heal from certain, you know, past life karma, trauma, things that you dealt with in other lifetimes that you're not aware of because of the manipulation that we've been going through. So it has to do with both. Um... Birth charts, if you're interested in your birth chart, is also listed in the description box underneath the Cafe Astrology link as well. As far as energy, energy updates, it is tour season. So again, happy birthday to me, for example. I'm a tour slash Gemini. Um, so all the tours just slash Gemini's, the ones that are Tauruses, happy birthday to you. Um, and then um, as far as the Earth energy, this has to do with, you know, you nurturing yourself, you taking care of your heart chakra. So a lot of people are having to heal certain things as far as their heart chakra, their root chakra, when it comes to that earth energy, um, as far as the zodiacs uh, and the energy that you harness and the ones that, you know, take part of your chakras. So a lot of us have been working on our heart chakra since the beginning of the year, especially during Valentine's season, um, to again, and help us understand the difference between lust and unconditional love. And again, if we're not loving ourselves unconditionally, we are not loving the other people that's in our environment, our environment the right way. So a lot of us are learning those lessons. We're also waking up and realizing the people that's in our environment as far as karmic relationships, karmic wounds, uh, certain people getting exposed while this bell is breaking down as far as the illusion of controlling the mass is going on. So it's all tying together. It's allowing you to, you know, get the clarity, get the information that you need in order for you to move forward and i'm here to guide you we today is the full moon in scorpio which scorpio is water so think about scorpio is also like a more shadowy side as far as a the zodiac as far as the water sides um so again not um learning to balance yourself learning how to use your dark side as well as your light side and use it in and as, as an advantage for your benefit okay so this uh full moon is going to be known as the healing and compassion moon um it's also the last super moon okay um it is also um going to help you un go with through understanding your conflicted emotions also thinking about you know the green energy as far as your family your friends um your intimate relationships um you're going to be focusing on that for about three weeks um six weeks uh, this is going to be the uh, first positive moon for six weeks as far as when it comes to that because, again, it's the last super moon. So that energy um, for that. And, again, another thing that I have been saying um, on my – started off on my Sagittarius reading, put it on Scorpio, and I'm going to put it on here – is the message that I have been getting was a song from Lacree Le, Le, when he said it's called Good, Bad, and Ugly. And so realizing the good, the bad, and the ugly in the journeys that we have been taking part of since we are a child. So again, a lot of us have had issues as far as, you know, abuse in our childhood all the way into our adulthood, dealing with that now. So he, it's a lot of things that he touches he taught, touches on in that video, um, in that song. Um, and it was, like I said, it was playing in the Sagittarius reading and it just basically um, played out in the cards. And I was like, okay, this is something I can carry on because again, I know a lot of uh, illusions are breaking down and a lot of healing needs to take uh, transpire and again understanding who you are especially if you're a twin flame a twin ray a divine partner a life partner if you went through anything that was painful or hurting in your childhood days you went through it to hurt you to hinder you to not allow you to stand into your true purpose to also cause you to not realize your self-worth because you're like why did certain things happen to me a child shouldn't have to go through this or you know i shouldn't have to go through this much pain of loving a person and so on so just think about um when you go through a spiritual awakening you have to learn and remember who you are and that hits every level of your life and a lot of people don't like going through it because it's a lot painful when it comes to our childhood and things that we experience um but just here to help you let's go ahead and get started the cards that i use in my videos have already been shuffled the main deck is a new deck that i'm using it's called cute and cut cute and creepy and cuddly deck it's also listed in the description box. We'll shuffle and cut those cards on camera. The other cards have already been shuffled in your energy, Geminis. Um, let's go ahead and get started. 
Pandora, different shuffles of different music, genres, country, meditation, rap, hip hop, uh, R&B, old school, alternative. Can't Be Broken by Lil Wayne is on right now. I can't be broken. And that just goes through the, mes the message. They try to break you, Geminis. They try to break you, cross watchers. They try to put certain things in your blueprint where they knew, you know, would stop you from being who you were meant to be. And guess what? They didn't break you. They didn't break you. You still walking. You still moving. You still kicking. You still on your mission. <laughs> Okay, so again, let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is going to be for Gemini's Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, Gemini Cusp Babies, North Node. Got it to this video. If you don't have Gemini in your chart, or dealing with anybody that has Gemini in their chart, Cusp Babies and Cross Watchers. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle it three more times. This next time, what's ever at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to take it as part of the energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that has Earth in their chart. Or again, you can be a Taurus slash Gemini. Um, but this represents energy as far as Earth. It represents Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo, okay? This represents the slowest moving night in the deck. So some of y'all could have been used, dealing with somebody that was very slow moving when it comes to them wanting to give you this offer. This could be a proposal. This could be a job offer. This could be growth within yourself. A major transformation as far as when it comes to realizing your self-worth. Um, again, it's tour season, so a lot of earth energy is going to be coming out because it's that season as far as when it comes to the green. Again, nurture yourself so wearing a lot of green eating green fruits and vegetables um you know going outside in nature putting trees you know touching trees sitting underneath trees putting flowers and plants inside your home that would help you stay in that earth energy as well as healing your heart chakra and working on yourself but i do feel that somebody feels that somebody has a big heart um with the knight of pentacles coming out this represents somebody wanting to be reliable they're wanting to be responsible with their actions they're wanting to take care of you i feel that this person is wanting to come in and be your protector it possibly took them long a long time in order for them to move to go towards you or in order for them to Finally, just take steps in the right direction when it comes to giving you this offer. So I feel that this is also representing energy as far as helpful. So you being helpful, people wanting to help you, you wanting to help other people. So I feel there's a lot of compassion that's going on as far as when it comes to, you know, your energy, Gemini's, the people that you're in round with. A lot of people are really being very compassionate towards you, okay? But this person is coming in. This could be a true commitment. This could be a marriage. Um, this could be money. Uh, a lot, again, some of y'all could be getting offers as far as when it comes to a career, an opportunity, okay? Abundance, okay? Uh, the song that's on right now is Counting Stars by One Republic. Huh. I was looking at his cover. He has spiritual animals there. And it's an owl, a buffalo. Uh, I want to say that's a cheetah. One of them looks like a goat. And I can't tell what the other one looks like. But it says native. 2014 version. So 2014 could be very significant to you. Gemini's, I know it's significant to me because that's when I uh, met my twin flame.
well, I got back into his energy. I've been known, we know, I've known of him. He didn't know of me, but um, that's when we reconnected was in 2014. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles being reversed. We have the Higher Fent card being upright. We have the Six of Pentacles being reversed. We have the Five of Swords being reversed. And then we have the Three, the Empress card being reversed. So this represents energy as far as Aries slash Taurus, as far as the Empress. When this is reversed, this represents energy as far as, you know, so some of them could have been dealing with somebody that's controlling. So let's say if this, if we're touching on childhood and we're having to heal old wounds, um, some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that had issues as far as when it comes to their parents, their mother. Um, this, if it's not their mother, this could also be a grandmother. It could be a, a woman influence as far as a sister, uh, a daughter, but I do feel like it's more of a mother. So some of y'all could have had a painful childhood when it comes to your mother, dealing with the mother. If it's not you, Gemini's, this could be your masculine, your feminine. Okay. This also could represent energy as far as ending the commitment with a, let's say if you're in a third party situation, um, and there's, you know, uh, the mother of the child or the father or child that the person was dealing with or you were involved with Gemini this could be ending to that as well but this is not if this is you as far as your energy this is you not being in your character some of y'all could be also having issues as far as when it comes to your finances because there's a lot of pinnacles that's reversed um, as far as when it comes to your stability and again if it's not you you're pulling your masculine and your feminine's energy as far as when it comes to their um, financial uh, situation their stability but I do feel that there's like an ending to a relationship an ending to a marriage you do have the higher fent card coming out so this represents Taurus so this also represents energy as far as um, you know, giving a commitment, there could be again, an ending to a marriage, something that that was committed, no longer wanting to commit to that is what I'm getting from this energy. This also represents energy as far as somebody feeling being overprotective. So some of them could have been dealing with an overprotective mother, an overprotective sister, an overprotective aunt, grandmother, um, again, mother of the child, the father of their child. Um, I do feel that this also represents energy as far as materialistic. They could have been dealing with somebody that was just there, Gemini's for your mother money. Let's say if they were seeing you as the empress or seeing you as the emperor, a lot of people were just con committing to you for their finances. The stability is what I'm getting from that. Some of y'all were dealing with situations as far as when it comes to that. Um, I do feel that this is also represents energy as far as, um, feeling burnout, out okay not in your right energy not nurturing yourself the right way so make sure you're taking care of yourself mentally physically as well as emotionally um this also represents energy as far as having options so let's say if you are dealing with an empress or if you are dealing with the emperor this person possibly had a lot of different options some of these women or some of these men could have been just other options and like i said they could have been just involved with you gemini's or involved with your masculine your feminine just before material gain materialistic things you have the eight of pinnacles being reversed and when the eight of pinnacles is reversed this represents energy as far as feeling overqualified so somebody feeling like they were too good and i do feel like i was saying somebody possibly could have been dealing with somebody let's say if there is any codependencies as far as when it comes to this third party situation or karmic or soulmate this other person that they were involved with could have been providing for them financially let's say if your masculine your feminine had issues with their finances when it comes to their stability they could have been involved with somebody that was an empress that you know you know could have felt that they were too good um, for you Gemini's or felt that they were too good for your masculine, your feminine in the end. Um, this could have been somebody again that was, you know, big headed because again, they had a lot of things going for themselves. They knew that they could, like I said, uh, manipulate situations when it comes to finances because again, they have more to provide than other people can provide for, you know, the, the, for you Gemini's or for your masculines or feminines. And this could have been something that was causing, um, uh, delays as far as when it comes to the relationship between you and this person, because this person was choosing materialistic things over you. Okay. Hmm. 
there could have been a time where your 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 feminine your masculine could have felt that they were too good for you is what i'm getting from this energy as well um you have the higher fin card coming out so this represents like i said energy as far as tours so this represents energy let's say if this is a Taurus that's coming back from your past or again again if you are a Taurus slash gemini gemini slash Taurus, whichever way that you want to see it um i do see that you know there's somebody that's wanting to come in and giving a commitment. This person possibly was not giving you a commitment in the past because, again, they possibly could have thought that they were too good for you. Um, again, they possibly could have had other options, other suitors that was, you know, making this person big headed is what I'm hearing or, you know, uh, people were bowing down to them or but they were bowing down to them for the wrong things. It was like a hidden agendas behind it and they're wanting me to say that. Um, but I feel that this person now is wanting to come in and giving you a commitment. This represents energy as far as divine wisdom and it represents energy as far as teaching yourself, you know, being teached, um, you know, educating yourself, becoming your own spiritual master. So a lot of y'all could be breaking free of certain belief systems that let's say if this was from your parents, your mother, if there were certain things that happened as far as when it comes to your childhood, that could be you breaking free from from certain morals it could also be again spiritual beliefs that you're breaking free from or you're you know you're it's not allowing yourself to grow is what i'm getting and you it's like it's it's old habits or old ways is what i'm hearing that needs to be that you need to let go of gemini's are your masculine your feminines needs to let go of and it could be stuff that they learned from their parents or learned from their mothers You have the six of pinnacles being reversed and this represents energy as far as repayment. It also represents energy as far as an attachment. So I told you, I feel that there is an overly protective mother that is attached to either you Gemini's or attached to your, 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 your masculine, your feminine, or the, like I said, it could be a sister. It could be an aunt. It could be a grandmother, but I'm getting again, mother, um, that is causing a lot of issues. This mother could also be providing to their child or their, their daughter, their, their son or their daughter. And it's keeping them stuck as far as because their, their son or their daughter cannot, you know, provide financially or your, their son or their daughter is helping pay, and provide for the mother so it could be two different issues as far as that but i do feel that somebody's very overly protective over a son or a daughter um you have the five of swords being reversed so this represents energy as far as um wanting forgiveness of a certain situation so let's say if some of y'all were you know uh, going through hurt trying to get over certain pains from your childhood that's you know, started from your parents. A lot of y'all, you know, are learning to forgive yourself as well as forgive the people that have hurt you, but not necessarily, you know, having to deal with that person because again, that person brought you hurt, but you're doing it. So it's no, it's not, it's not blocking any of your abundance that's supposed to be coming in, not blocking any of your growth. So I do feel that some of y'all are doing the healings that you need to do as far as when it comes to the forgiveness so you can move forward in a certain situation. Um, you know, letting go of resentment, letting go of bitterness uh, because it's no longer serving you. And if, the, like I said, if this is not you, Gemini, this is your masculine, your feminine, but I do feel that somebody does need to let go of an, over, an overly protective mother overly protective mother mother yeah you have a queen of pentacles so you have yeah two energies as far as women energies as far as earth signs so i feel that like i said it could be either the mother or it could be the mother of the, the mother of their child the father of their child could have been holding this person back as far as finances our finances could have been going into the children um and it could have been keeping this person stuck or they were providing for a certain household um with this person you have the ten of pentacles a lot of money is here Look, seven of pentacles. I'm just going to put the lover's card, the knight of pentacles being reversed, and the knight of cups, the king of cups being reversed. So you have the queen of pentacles, which is uh, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. It's reversed. You have the lover's card, which is you, Gemini's, which is reversed. You have the Knight of Pentacles coming back out and it's reversed this time, which is Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. And then you have the King of Cups being reversed, which represents Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. So I feel money in the middle. <laughs> Barney in the middle. In the middle. What? Barney in the middle. <laughs> y'all, I don't know if y'all know, know that old school song, but that just popped in my head because 
the only thing that's upright is this 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 higher fin and this this ten of pentacles so this is that commitment this is that loyalty i do feel that somebody is ending a certain situation they could have been involved again a third party situation there was two different women that was involved two different men that was involved because you do have again you have the empress and the queen of pentacles here two women okay both reversed feeling some type of way a baby mama or the mother of their mother their true mother or sister is feeling some type of way about the relationship between the masculine and feminine because they know it's going to stop their finances somebody is providing for either a mother a mother or the mother of their child or the father of the child um they're putting money into this person's pocket or providing for them. And they know if they go in this commitment with their masculine and their feminine, it's going to stop their money flow. You also have two men here. So you have a king of cups and you have a, a, a knight of pentacles. But this is crazy because this Ten of Pentacles, there's money. It's a lot of money on the, in the board. It's a lot of manipulation as far as when it comes to finances. Again, somebody could have been lying, again, just to have assets, with, just to get, you know, be fin financially uh, stable with this person because this other person could have been the empress or they could have been the emperor. Um, a lot of codependency energy as far as when it comes to if it's not money, it's energy. So this person, again, was draining them like vampires. Somebody feels like they made a bad investment. You have a seven of pinnacles being reversed. And this represents energy as far as bad investment. This represents energy as far as having anxiety. So I feel that you are very impatient with this person. Again, let's say if they were providing financially to another person or again, they were not spending the right, you're spending the time and energy that they needed to expend with you. Um, again, and giving your, their energy to other people, you got, you grew very impatient with this knight of pinnacles or this king of cups or again, this queen of pinnacles are this empress okay um but again i feel that gemini's that you are in a situation as far as a love situation and it could be a love triangle and it's a lot of money that's involved in it i do feel again that this person is not let's say if whoever is in a third party situation with this person for money they don't love this person with this this king of cups being reversed they don't love them okay this person is just using somebody just for their money Okay, you have the King of Cups being reversed. This represents energy as far as hidden emotions. It also represents energy as far as somebody being overly sensitive, as well as clingy, you know, a drinker. So this person could have issues as far as drinking. There could be a lot of drinking that's involved. Um, again, that could be drinking that's going to it. His money could be going towards drinking. And that's the reason why, like I said, this person is broke. Are they bad with finances because their money goes towards drinking, partying? Are putting money in other people's pockets. Splurging for the wrong person. The wrong people. And they end up losing their love relationship behind it. They end up losing their empress behind it is what I'm hearing. Wow, look. Hierophant it has keys right here. Hmm. This little looks like a little rap star, you know, or something. But this person, if this person is coming back, this person is wanting to give you a commitment. They're wanting to be loyal to you. They're wanting to um, you know, uh provide you with this these the money. Like I said, whatever they do, somebody has money. Or they have some type of financial stability that they're wanting to give to the other person. But I feel, again, in the past, or if this is a situation that's going on now, they were um, choosing the wrong people and it was causing them to get drained financially. Or, again, they were um, choosing other people that was only wanting them for their finances is what I'm getting from this energy, okay? 
you have balance so yeah this person is wanting to come in and balance the situation they're wanting to bring the relationship back stable um you have it this represents energy as far as temperance so this represents sagittarius so again wanting to compromise this represents energy as far as experimenting with yourself healing yourself mentally physically as well as emotionally testing the waters and i told you this person possibly was testing the waters in the past again because again they could have been the emperor the empress there could have been a lot of options that was available to them and made them very big-headed um again providing for other people putting money in other people's pockets um, other people draining them financially, other people not wanting you to be with this person begin because it's going to stop their uh, money flow if they go into this relationship with you. You have a 14 here, which is a five. Fives represents conflicts that brings change. So it says the need for balance and moderation, uh, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. It says the ace of earth. So yeah, this person is coming in and wanting to give you a commitment. Um, they possibly were not giving you this commitment in the past. They possibly were non-committal is what I'm getting from this because again, they were committing to other things. Um, you have the universe coming in and giving you an offer. This also represents a job. It represents money. It represents abundance. So it says the the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture. Important documents are contracts say so again a, a commitment a love relationship it's a, the moon card so this represents energy as far as so again capricorn taurus as well as virgo um so you have here the moon is cancer it's excuse me it's pisces i said cancer for a reason but pisces so this represents energy as far as the unknown working on somebody's shadow self like i said going through the dark night of the soul this also represents dreams so a lot of y'all could be using your intuition this person could be getting guided in their dreams in the spiritual realm because you do have you know a bed here so i feel that this person's possibly getting marriages 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 okay possibly seeing them marrying you in the spiritual realm but i was trying to see say getting messages while they're asleep so this represents energy as far as secrets things that were hidden deceptive so again i feel that there's somebody was living an illusion um the illusion that they were living in was an illusion to distract them from you know their true feminine their true masculine um again they lost their emperor their empress behind them living in these illusions so you have a 19 you have an 18 here which is a nine nines represents uh moving on happiness and growth you have attraction so yeah being somebody was just attracted for somebody for the money the looks the fame um opportunities of abundance um this but this person knows that they're really attracted to you the chemistry between you and this person is real there could be again i told you um a lot of people seeing your uh glow gemini's or cross watchers so a lot of people couldn't be expressing themselves their attraction towards you so it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully flirt so yeah a lot of flirting coming in so this person is going to start flirting with you they're going to start you know um you know talking you know doing the things that they can do in order for them to get in the door um they know that that's the key to your heart the way that they flirt with you i feel that you have the key to this person's heart and again they possibly they were not seeing that it says extend your light-hearted energy to others wedding wow i said marriage so this person is having dreams about them marrying you this person is coming in are they possibly spoke about marrying you to you know the baby mama the mother of uh, their mother their father their sister and again this part they got jealous because they know once they go into this marriage a lot of things are going to be changing is what i'm getting so you have children so again children are involved in the situation so it could be the mother of their child it could again be their mother it could be again healing childhood wounds as far as this card coming out but you some of y'all are connected to children and that could be part of your life purpose so it says your connection with children is part of your life purpose we have new homes so y'all could be moving in together getting a new home together if there is a marriage a marriage proposal a true commitment um you know that could be something that y'all are going to be planning working on a lot of y'all could be you know saving putting money back now you have finances coming in in order for you to make that move getting you a new home so it says moving is a step in the right direction some of them are possibly going to be moving out let's say if they are living with the mother of the child the father of their child um, are their mother, their mother, or their fa father, they could be moving out of that situation and getting a home with you or moving in with you. It says, ask for what you want. So this is, again, the universe stepping in and helping your ancestors, your higher self, uh, working uh, together uh, to get you the things that you need. Asking the universe, you know, what it is that you want, not sitting on it. So it says, let the universe and other people know what you need. 
we have theft. So I saw this card in your pre-shuffle. I should have said that. So somebody feels like something was stolen to them. Again, if this person lost a lot of finances about behind dealing with other people or if they were putting money, you know, in their mother's pocket, their baby mama's pocket, there could have been finding out that there was deception as far as when it comes to that. I do feel that y'all feel that there was stolen time between one another as far as when it comes to this connection between you and them. So you have a 24 here, which is a um, six. Six represents harmony as well as path pathway a new journey they're wanting to take this new leap of faith with you okay so you have a 35 here an eight eight represents movement we have toll and labor so we have a 38 here so this represents energy as far as um not overworking yourself not slavering slaving not you know um doing more than what you need to and this i feel that this person feels that they were putting you know again more finances in other people's pocket and becoming their slaves they're not their slave okay you're not this person's slave you it's not your responsibility to provide for these other people so you have a 38 here 11 11s represents new beginnings as far as the ones it represents a twin flame twin ray divine partner life partner number so not overworking yourself, Gemini. So making sure you're not overworking yourself, not putting more out than what you are supposed to, because again, it's not your responsibility, okay? Um, so next card, we have happiness. So this card came out in my Sagittarius reading, and now it's coming out um, for you, Gemini. So it says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. And it's crazy because it's coming on top of the temperance card. And it was a Sagittarius reading that it came out on. So it says, knowing that, you know, your happiness, um, it's, it's okay to be happy. It's okay to, you know, be more happier than anybody else that's in your environment. And a lot of people, as far as friends and family members become jealous because they're not able to experience the same things that you're able to experience as well. So making sure that, um, you know, you're not blocking your happiness because again, you're around certain people that possibly could be draining your energy, which is also making you not be hunt happy as well. So watching that you're not the, the energy vampires that you're around that's in your environment, regardless if it's friends and family members, that's not draining you emotionally, okay? So again, it's nothing wrong with being happy. It's nothing wrong with going towards your happiness. I feel that this is what that person is doing. They see you, Gemini, as your, their happiness, or you see your masculine, your feminine as your true happiness. Um, and that's the direction, that's the new path this person is getting ready to take. You have butterflies here. You have honesty. So uh, this person is coming in and they're wanting to be honest. If there were certain secrets, if there were certain things that were hidden in the past, I feel that their person is going to be explaining, you know, what was going on, uh, becoming truthful, um, communication. So it says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So realizing again that people are not like you, okay? Everybody does not move like you, Gemini's. Even when you want certain things to go this way or you wish that certain people react this way, remember everybody don't move like you. Everybody's not gonna be honest like you're gonna be honest to them. And some of y'all possibly were gullible. So it says success. So this came out in my um, Scorpio reading. So it says, I knew I know that there is no greater goal than to love so this person is realizing again there's no greater goal than to love themselves again unconditionally and once they do that they can love you know other people unconditionally but they know there's no other greater goal than to love not money the goal the biggest goal that we need to achieve as human beings is understanding what true love is not how much money is in our bank account those are materialistic things Love is an emotion, okay? That's part of your, your, your caressant body. That's part of you, who you are as a human. You have authority figures. So there could be, again, uh, some situations as far as when it comes to the, 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 the laws, the police. Uh, let's say if there is an ending or marriage, this could also be a finalization of that. That's what this could represent as well. Okay, an ending to a marriage, an ending to a, a a commitment, a contract, case closed. Form. So some of y'all could be thinking about, you know, starting your own garden. 
Um, some of y'all could have been past life. In past life, you could have been a former. You and your masculine, your feminine. Some of y'all possibly, you know, have always wanted to go visit a form and it possibly is going to activate some part of your past life. Watching the foods that you eat that's on those forms because there's also foods that's on those forms that are put there to uh, hinder you like pork, dairy products, you know, certain things. That song E-I-E-I-O is not, there. there's, there's a hidden men meaning behind that song. Okay, we have regret, okay, regret. Some of y'all could live in the country. I'm saying somebody's living, could be living in the country where there's a lot of horses or they could ride horses. Something, uh, something about a red barn is very significant to somebody because this red came out also again. So regret, so this person is really regretting, they're in remorse, they're disappointed with their actions. If this is you, Gemini's, you're disappointed with your actions. Somebody could again be going to jail or they could, some something, the, the police could have got involved in a certain situations and there could be some regret behind that, okay? I know that I cannot change the past, but this person again is coming in and asking for forgiveness and they know that they cannot change the past. Okay, they know they can't change the past. So the five of swords, they know that the deception, they know that the the you know the the fail, the fail, the defeat that they made you feel, they know that they made you lose. There could have been losses again, finances. They can't get their money back. All that stuff. Okay, so they and this, but when it's reversed, this represents energy as far as forgiveness. Okay, somebody letting go of their ego. Okay, letting go of their ego. This person is regretting it. Why did I pull out another card of this? It was not even supposed to be that card, but. Maybe that's coming out for a reason, but vows, okay? So some of y'all could have had certain vows that's from a past life that could be hindering you and stopping you from your abundance in this lifetime. Get on Google. Google is your best friend when it comes to spiritual awakenings and the great awakening right now and start Googling um, how to remove certain vows from other past lives and start taking steps and doing that and remembering it's a process, okay? It takes time. You have the Knight of Pentacles coming out twice, so that car showed up twice, so that can just let you know, giving you confirmation that this is a process. Trust the process when it comes to releasing yourself from certain vows that you're possibly not aware of. This person is coming in and making a vow of commitment. They're wanting to marry you. Who's going to be there? You are their happiness. And the one of the, kar the karmics, the soulmates could be feeling like you're stealing this other person from them. You have use your personal power. So using your personal power, stepping in your personal power, gaining your inner strength, disciplining yourself, being passionate, standing in your inter integrity. You have raise your vibration. So raise your vibe. So earlier how I was saying the volume going up, your frequencies going up. Tear it up by Young Jeezy is on. Okay, so somebody could be Wanting to have some love making, and that could be raise y'all's vibration. You have new love, so a new opportunity, a new commitment. This new love is gonna be real. This valid commitment, this new relationship that you and this person is coming in, it's gonna be a new a relationship for both of y'all. Some of y'all could be ending a relationship and going into a new marriage with somebody um, by the end of the year, and this person is gonna want to marry you. Okay. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and y'all have a great day. The OG, baby. <laughs>